The Legislative Yen has given a dramatic budget increase to pandemic relief. On Monday, lawmakers passed an amendment that doubles the government's COVID bailout budget to 840 billion NT, which is more than the Cabinet's original request. The Cabinet says the funds will be used to support the worst victims of the pandemic, including individuals like taxi drivers, tour guides and working parents taking unpaid leave for school closures. The Legislative Yuan is back in session. On Monday, the first item on the agenda was a budget amendment sponsored by the DPP. The amendment, which grants a bigger bailout budget than the Cabinet requested, met initial opposition from the KMT. As long as the government and the people need it, we will exercise our duty as the opposition party to keep the government in check while providing bailout relief to the people. But we will absolutely not be giving carte blanche to the administration. Our businesses are waiting for relief and our people are waiting for support. In this unprecedented crisis, I don't know what special insights the KMT has that would compel it to oppose this budget. Let's hear what the KMT says in a moment. It'll make no sense. Also, everyone has already signed off on the terms of our cross-party negotiations. The only one who has yet to sign is the KMT whip. DPP caucus whip Ke Jieming underscored the urgency of the situation and called on the KMT to not block the budget revision. But the KMT was unmoved and the two sides geared up for a battle of votes. We don't want the government to be in such a rush to earmark all this money. To be honest, we still have not used up the bailout budget earmarked last year. We haven't exhausted it yet. Taiwan is not short on money. From my understanding, the day after the budget is promulgated by the president, the executive yuan will finalize a 260 billion NT package comprising relief and inoculation programs. This package will be sent to the legislative yuan for an item-by-item -item review. When the time comes, the Premier and all the ministers will come to the Legislative Yuan for interpolation and reviews. Despite its initial objection, the KMT agreed to support the bill during cross-party negotiations. The bill cleared its third and final reading at noon. And with that, Taiwan's COVID bailout relief budget was raised from 420 billion to 840 billion NT. Its enforcement period was extended by one year to June 30, 2022. Lawmakers also passed a raft of auxiliary resolutions to the budget. The DPP agreed to the KMT's proposal that all travelers to outlying islands be tested for COVID on Taiwan proper. The equipment to enforce the policy is to be set up within a week. The DPP also agreed to raise the budget allocation for local governments to 10 percent.